Let's take a quick look at the new transport and tempo functionality found within Cubase Pro 8.5. The transport panel has been cleaned up and is much easier to read with better contrast and fresh symbols for improved clarity. It can be customized by right clicking where different components can be turned on or off or even rearranged in the setup window. There's a lot of different recording modes that were kind of hidden here that were not so obvious for all users. These have now been moved into the transport menu where all of your typical transport locators, project positions, different common recording modes for audio and MIDI can all be found. One of the concepts has been with Cubase for a long time is that the punch in and punch out are coupled directly to the left and right locators. But sometimes we may want to have a cycle that is longer than the punch in and punch out point. I'm gonna grab my range selection tool, select a region here, and say I want to punch in. And now if we go to our transport, we can enable punch points. First thing we want to do is make sure that we could uncheck the lock punch points to locators. I could activate the punch in and punch out by hitting I and O, just like previous versions. I could go to my punch in position, my punch out position, or I could set it from the project position, or I could manually enter it in, or just use the punch points to the selection range. So now I'll arm this track for record, and as we go into our cycle, we'll see the cycle start, punch in on the track, punch out, we have the cycle go back, do our second punch in. punch out. So very handy to be able to have that type of independent punch points from the main cycle markers. There's some new tempo handling functionality and we could do this within the transport. So if you start a project at a particular tempo and then activate the tempo, it's going to maintain that tempo. If I adjust my time position here or adjust the tempo, we can don't have to activate the tempo track to enter the values in. Now, one of the things that's always been very powerful with Cubase is the concept of having automatic tempo detection. So if I wanted to select something from my drums here, let's say an overhead track, I can now go to my project menu and we'll have Cubase do an automatic detection of the tempo. So we're gonna analyze the tempo here in just a couple seconds, it's gonna create a tempo map to music that was recorded without a click track. I will now move my tempo map, my tempo track to the top, and it will also create a time signature track. And it places it into one four meter because it's figuring out where all the beats fall. So now what I wanna do is to actually find the downbeat of the track as a 4-4 bar. We'll activate our metronome. So you can see that we have a varying tempo on almost every single beat within our project. Now, if I wanted the audio tracks that weren't recorded to a click track to actually change to our tempo, what we need to do is to write that tempo metadata in. So what I'm going to do is select audio, go to advanced, and I'm going to choose set definition from tempo. And what this will do is I could write this metadata into the project or actually into the audio files themselves. And now instead of a single tempo stamp, we have the capability of being able to have multiple tempo stamps within the audio file itself. Once this is done, we'll see a little eighth note or quarter note appear at the top. 
Now, there's some new tempo handling functionality, which is kind of comes from some of the other editing functions in Cubase. So if I wanted to come here and just play back. Now, if I wanted to actually edit tempo information, I could just select it and we'll zoom in here. And if I wanted to do a, an Acella Rondo, a retard, if I wanted to adjust the tempo here, down or up, or if I wanted to just compress or expand the tempo. So, and I could do this while play. So if I wanted to just say, okay, let's do this in real time. I wanted to do a pretty extreme a cello rondo. that up. Let's speed up this whole section. And we could do these extreme time stretches because we're using the new Elastique 3.0 algorithm so that we can have the strongest audio quality for this. So if you wanted to have the enhanced tempo functionality and transport control, the Cubase Pro 8.5 will really help with your workflow.